Hello, dear students. Welcome to the English class. In the previous class, we started the lesson Everything I Need to Know I Learned in the Forest, written by Vandana Shiva. We stopped at the poetry of the forest. Here, the poetry of the forest. The Earth University is inspired by Rabindranath Tagore, India's National Poet and a Nobel Prize Laureate. Laureate means winner. Here, Vandana Shiva was inspired by Rabindranath Tagore's Earth University. See, she started Earth University in Navadhanya form. That Earth University talks about Earth democracy. Democracy means freedom. Freedom for all the species live in their web of life. See, and she gave all the freedom to the learners and she gave the opportunity to work with the nature. All the par participants of Earth University are going to learn in the middle of the forest. So, here she says the Earth University she started Earth University in Navadhanya form. That Earth University idea, she was ins inspired by Rabindranath Tagore. This idea before only Rabindranath Tagore used in his forest school. He started a forest school in Shanti Niketana at West Bengal and that school became very much famous. She was also inspired by that school. So she says, the Earth University is inspired by Rabindranath Tagore. He is India's National Poet and Nobel Prize winner. Tagore started a learning center in Shantiniketan in West Bengal, India. He started a learning center. Learning center means school at Shantiniketan in West Bengal. That school is a forest school. That learning center he started as a forest school both to take inspiration from nature and to create an Indian culture renaissance. See why Ravindranath Tagore started a school in middle of the forest. Why? Because in the forest we find a different variety of creatures and different variety of nature and natural elements are together. So that is going to give a good impact on the learners. That is going to give and develop a unique kind of culture. So in order to give a great renaissance, renaissance means Praramba to give a renaissance for Indian culture he wanted to start school in the middle of the forest that is a forest school the school become a university in 1921 growing into one of the India's most famous centers of learning here he started that forest school in 1921 and uh, that forest school become university in 1921 and day by day it was growing and now it was very much famous center of learning. So Vandana Shiva was inspired by that forest school by that earth university. Today, just as in Tagore's time, we need to turn to nature and the forest for lessons in freedom. So, why Ravindranath Tagore started a school in the middle of the forest in order to make understand about a variety of creatures living together in the forest. So, now this is the time for the human being to return back to the forest to learn co-creation to learn co-living with the creatures that he has to learn from the forest so she talks about earth university and she established the earth university in the 
Navadhanya form to return back to the forest, to return back to the nature. In this essay Tapovan, Tapovan was the famous essay written by Ravindranath Tagore. Tapovan means forest of purity. Tapovan, one means forest. Tapo means purity. Tap, uh, Tapovan means forest of purity. Tagore writes, Indian civilization has been distinctive in locating its source of regeneration. Our Indian civilization, culture is distinctive, different in locating source of generation. In locating means in concern with other generations, our Indian civilization uh, is different. Why? Material and intellectual in the forest, not the city. Indians' best ideas have come where man was in communicate communion with trees and rivers and lakes away from the crowd. Why? Indian civilization is somewhat unique and different from the other generations because of Indian forests. Because man was separated, Indians were separated and they developed their life with the forest. Forest was having diversity. Ekatel Vibhinatena Hondir Takantadu, even the Aranantakantadu. Vibhina Jeevigalu, Vibhina Jeeva Rasigalu, Tamadea the Jeeva Navana, Pandu Sahayoga the Lee, Sahaja Redale Nadstakantadu. Adu Manushanige Patawagir Takantadu. Higagi Parthi a Samskuti and Takantadu, very generation Gulagantalu. Vibhinavagi, Shreshtavagi, Kandavartirta Kantatu. That Indians were separated from the crowded cities and they developed some communion. Communion means communication with trees and rivers and lakes away from the crowd, from the forest. So they are able to develop unique kind of civilization. The culture of the forest has fueled the culture of Indian society. That culture of the forest, the culture of the forest, has fueled. Fueled means gave support to develop Indian culture. So Indian culture is diverse, unique culture. See, the culture that has arisen from the forest. The Indian culture has arisen from the forest, has been influenced by the diverse process of renewal of life. Diverse means within different variety of and different renewal lives we found in the forest, which are always at play in the forest, which always find in the forest. Varying variety from species to species. Different species were living in the forest. Their life is unique. So we find variety of species in the forest. From season to season, different seasons, insight and sound and smell. All these things together. Together forest is diversity in unity. We find diverse of living organisms, diverse of life in the forest, that is also they are leading their life in unity. So that is sharing life, that is unity is going to affect the human culture, Indian culture. The unifying principle of life in diversity, we find this unifying principle Ekatea Vandu Tatva of life in diversity. Vibhinna Tayali Ekatea Tatva Vana now Arinadali Kantai Devi. Of democratic pluralism. See, democratic pluralism. Bandwal Shahiya Viruta now Horad Bekadre Namalge Vibhinna Tayali Ekatea Mshakalu Beko. In order to develop a good culture, we need this unifying principle of life. In this diversity so we have to defeat this democratic pluralism thus became the principle of Indian civilization like this Indian principle Indian 
civilization became a very much great and very much cultured civilization because india has some cultured forests that cultured forest forests nourished a cultured civilization among indians okay next it is this unity in diversity that is the basis of both ecological sustainability and democracy see the basic the main fundamentals of the forest is unity in diversity that is in ecological sustainability and democracy all these things together for that forest has and it teaches that unity and diversity and ecological sustainability and democracy to the human beings diversity without unity becomes the source of conflict and context con- contest unity without diversity becomes the ground for external control this is true of both nature and culture the forest is a unity in its diversity and we are united with nature through our relationship with the forest see without diversity unity will not help see in order to develop good relationship in the nature we have to develop diversity jaivikatena vibhinnatena nav alvadiskolbeku nav monoculture anna bittu diversity anna roopiskolbeku diversity without unity diversity iddaga alli unity irlebeku vibhinnateyalli ekate beku then only we will get the good good and controlled and sharing life in the environment vibhinnateyalli ekate iddaga matra namma mathu ondu prakrutiya sambandhagalu hondanikeyalli irlikke sadhya ನಾವು ವಿಭಿನ್ನತೆ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಕೂಡ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಯುನಿಟಿಯನ್ನು ಸಹಬಾಳ್ವೆಯನ್ನು ರೂಪಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಲೇಬೇಕು ಯುನಿಟಿ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ನಾವು ಆ ಯುನಿಟಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೊಂದಾಣಿಕೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಭಿನ್ನತೆ ಇರಬೇಕು ವಿಭಿನ್ನತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೊಂದಾಣಿಕೆ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅಂತಹ ಸಹಬಾಳ್ವೆಯನ್ನು ಪ್ರಕೃತಿಯ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನಡೆಸಬೇಕು ಆ ಸಹಬಾಳ್ವೆ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಮನುಷ್ಯನಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಜಿ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಯನ್ನು ಕೊಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಶೇರಿಂಗ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಶೇರಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ಯುನಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯುನಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಆಫ್ ಬೋತ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೆವಲಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುನಿಕ್ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಯುನಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ forests forests are best example they are maintaining this unity in diversity if we we grow and we learn from the mid in the middle of the forests that unity and diversity is going to transform in our life also and we are united with the nature and we are also the part of the nature we are not separated from the nature we are also part of the nature if we learn in the middle of the forest with the forest that is going to develop good unity among human beings through our relationship with the forest <coughs> that unity is going to develop good harmony good to develop good relationships with the forest ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಈ ಒಂದು ವಿಭಿನ್ನತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಏಕತೆಯ ಜೀವನವನ್ನು ಅರಣ್ಯಗಳಿಂದ ಕಲಿಬೇಕು ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಅರಣ್ಯದ ಅಥವಾ ಈ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿಯ ಒಂದು ಭಾಗ ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ಆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿಯ ಒಂದು ಏಕತೆಯನ್ನು ಮೂಡಿಸಲು ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ರವೀಂದ್ರನಾಥ್ ಟ್ಯಾಗೋರ್ ಅವರು ತಮ್ಮ ಅರ್ಥ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಹೇಳಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಇನ್ ಟಾಗೋರ್ ಇನ್ ಟಾಗೋರ್ಸ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ it was the source of beauty and joy of art and aesthetics of harmony and perfection it symbolizes symbolized the universe the forest teaches us union and compassion here according to forest just the forest is not not 
having the diversity and the unity it is having the source of knowledge and freedom in the forest learning if, if we started our learning in the middle of the forest it is going to develop diversity and unity along with that there is forests are just a source of knowledge and freedom it contains a lot of knowledge and it gives full freedom for its creatures it was the source of beauty and joy these forests are the source abundant beauty and joy we will get from the forest of art and aesthetics from the forest we get some art some satisfactions of harmony and perfection these forests were going to teach us perfection paripurnatayanna harmony sahabalvayanna kalasi kurtakkantadu it symbolized the universe this forests are like mini universe these forests contain everything that is going to nourish the human beings life in perfection in in for in perfect way the forest teaches us union and compassion here yeah, these forests learning is going to teach us union and compassion the forest forest also teaches us enoughness as a principle of equity how to enjoy the gifts of nature without exploitation and accumulation here human beings are there whatever the surrounding nature has they think they are thinking that all those things belong to the human beings itself so they are there to exploit the nature but this forest these forests teaches human beings enoughness enoughness sampurnate the principle of equity parisaradalli irukkanta ella jeeva rashigalu samanaru anodanna telisi kodutada and here human how to enjoy the gifts of nature without exploitation and accumulation here here the forest teaches human beings just to, to enjoy the natural elements enjoy the gift of nature not to destroy the nature not don't try to become owner of this nature here human beings wanted to get this nature as their property don't think that nature is your property don't destroy because all this nature and all the creatures belongs to the god see tagore falls from the ancient text written in the forest see tagore talks about some ancient writing old writing old text written on the forest that is know all that moves in this moving world as enveloped by god see that this nature living nature and all the creatures of the nature are belongs to the god and they were enveloped by god they were covered and protected by the god but human beings are thinking that the the property they are thinking the nature is their own property and they wanted to get ownership on the nature but god is the owner he is the creator and he is the protector here according to ravindranath tagore that attitude we have to develop because we are also created by the god we are also part of the nature but what human beings are trying here they wanted to get this natural nature and natural element as their property they are thinking nature is their property all the creatures they wanted to dominate on all the creatures human beings are wanted to dominate all the creatures but according to rabindranath tagore god is the owner he is dominating the earth and find find enjoyment through renunciation not through greed of fashion here ravindranath tagore 
tells us, tells all the human beings to just have the enjoyment being the part of the nature. Don't show greed of fashion. Fashion means feeling. Greedy feeling for the natural elements and don't think think that nature ever, nature is your own property no species in a forest appropriates the share of another species see on the earth in the nature every species is different and they don't have any domination over other species only god is the owner so you don't think that other species are your property and don't dominate other species you are also equivalent to other creatures of the nature just you understand that you are also one of the creature on this earth by the god Every species sustains itself in cooperation with others. So, every species are free and independent on this earth. So, they are sustaining. Sustaining means they are leading their life with cooperation with each other. So, we need some cooperation with other species, with other creatures in order to get the get our identity we have to lead our life independent and free and we have to allow other creatures to lead their life free and independent that is cooperation we creatures just have to maintain cooperation that is our duty but what human beings are doing? He wanted to dominate other creatures. He wanted to become the owner of this nature. But in reality, the God is the nature. We are created by the God like other creatures. So we have to enjoy the beauty of the nature and we should not try, we should not show our greediness to get nature as our property. We don't try to dominate other creatures. This is the innocent saying said by Ravindranath Tagore. The end of consumerism and accumulation is the beginning of joy of feeling. See, in this, in this nature, on the earth, every key creature is very happy and they are leading their life peacefully. But human beings are always unhappy. Why? Because there was idea of consumerism, consumerism and accumulation is there in human beings. Consumerism, accumulation, collectiveness. He wanted to collect all the precious natural elements as, the, as his own property. So he is always unhappy in this nature. He, he is not trying to see the beauty of this nature. Then if he try and if he thinks that he is also part of the nature, he started cooperation, cooperative living with other creatures, then he will get ultimate joy of life, ultimate joy of living in this earth. Then the conflict between greed and compassion, here always in human beings mind there was a conflict conflict means dandva quarrel between greed and compassion greed greedy feelings and compassion compassion means pity for other creatures and cooperation cooperative living and conquest and cooperation say conquest means uh, in order to dominate other things defeat and cooperation means pity for other creatures always there was a there was a quarrel between greedy feelings and compassion feelings and always there was a quarrel between conquest and cooperation violence and harmony violence and harmony harmony means well-being cooperative living that tagore wrote about continues today whatever 
Tagore wrote about human beings and about the forest, about nature. Still now we have to accept all those things are, are still now they are telling the truth and reality of the nature. And it is the forest that can show us the way beyond this conflict. See, here Rabindranath Tagore says, only human beings are unhappy on this earth, in this nature. Why? Because he always stuck between greed and fashion, greedy feelings. Sada manusha dura se anta matu ili sarala sabhavadar madde sili ke hakir kondanu. Awanu dura se anna bidalu sadhe villa, ee vandu sarala bhaavane anna vandu shanti yutta pararapagi hita drushti anna bedes kolalu sadhe vakta illa. Conquest and cooperation. Adar jatake ili kruv conquest. Conquest means defeat. ಈ ಮತ್ತು ಬೇರೆ ಜೀವಿಗಳನ್ನು ಸೋಲಿಸುವ ಒಂದು ಸದಾ ಒಂದು ಆಶಯದಲ್ಲಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಎಂದಿಗೂ ಕೋಆಪ್ರೇಷನನ್ನು ಆ ಬೇರೆ ಜೀವಿಗಳ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಹೊಂದಾಣಿಕೆಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳಲು ಸಾಧ್ಯವಾಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ವೈಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಾರ್ಮನಿ ಮನುಷ್ಯನಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವತ್ತಿಗೂ ವೈಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಕ್ರೂರತೆ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಇರೋ ಕಾರಣ ಹಾರ್ಮನಿಯನ್ನು ಸಹಬಾಳ್ವೆಯನ್ನು ಅವನು ರೂಢಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಲು ಸಾಧ್ಯವಾಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ರವೀಂದ್ರನಾಥ್ ಟಾಗೋರ್ ಅವರು ಹೇಳೋ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಈ ಗೊಂದಲಗಳಲ್ಲೇ ಸಿಲುಕಿ ಅಸಂತುಷ್ಟನಾಗಿ ಈ ನಿಸರ್ಗದ ಒಂದು ಸೌಂದರ್ಯವನ್ನು ಅದರ ಒಂದು ಸಂತೋಷವನ್ನು ಪಡೆಯಲು ಅಸಾಧ್ಯವಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ಇಂದಿನ ಮಟ್ಟಿಗೂ ಟುಡೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಮಾತು ಸತ್ಯ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ತನ್ನ ದುರಾಸೆಯನ್ನು ಗ್ರೀಡನ್ನು ಬೆಳೆಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಹಾರ್ಮನಿಯನ್ನು ಕೋಆಪ್ರೇಷನನ್ನು ಗ್ರೀಡನ್ನು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹಾರ್ಮನಿಯನ್ನು ಕೋಆಪ್ರೇಷನನ್ನು ನಿಸರ್ಗದ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನಿಸರ್ಗದ ಪ್ರಾಣಿ ಪಕ್ಷಿಗಳ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಬೆಳೆಸ್ಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಭೂಮಿಯ ಮೇಲೆ ಒಂದು ಸುಖ ಸಂತೋಷದ ಜೀವನವನ್ನು ರೂಪಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಲು ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಅಂಥೇಳಿ ರವೀಂದ್ರನಾಥ್ ಟ್ಯಾಗೋರ್ ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಮಾತುಗಳು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವಂದನಾ ಶಿವ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಸರಿ ಅನಿಸುವ ಕಾರಣ ಶಿ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಹಿ ಅವ ಬೈ ಹೀಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಹೀ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ವಂದನಾ ಶಿವ ಸೊ ಶಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ದ ನವಧಾನ್ಯ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಈಜ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಲೆಸನ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಐ ನೋ ಇಟ್ ಟು ನೋ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಬೈ ವಂದನಾ ಶಿವ ಓಕೆ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ